All right, so I'm gonna be opening up this MacBook Pro late 2013 model A1502, 13 inch. All right, so this MacBook, um, let me see if I can show you. The screen doesn't turn on, it just stays black. You can hear the boot chime, so I'm gonna power it up and hold the option key so it doesn't boot all the way. Also, the speakers are bad, but we're not gonna be changing that unless the screen is repairable because the screens for these models right now, if you try and find them, even a used one is like over $400. So as you can see, it made the chime, but there's nothing at all on the screen. So I'm gonna make sure to power it off completely. I'm gonna actually do a SMC reset to make it turn off. So option control shift on the left and the power button, then the MacBook should be completely off. All right, so now we're gonna open it up. You wanna open it using a Pentalobe uh, 1.2 or a P5 screwdriver, all right? So let's just remove all the screws. You wanna keep the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, put them flat side down in the pattern I remove them. So in this rectangular pattern, and that's how I keep track of the screws, all right? So let's go ahead and remove them all. The back two in the middle are actually smaller than the rest. So if you're wondering, um, these two screws are actually smaller, but again, it's always a good idea to keep the screws in order and put the exact screws back where you got them from. So if you took it from this one corner, put it back in that corner. Even if they look the same, I try not to mix them up. All right, so there we go. In some cases, the screws are different enough that you can actually damage the computer if you put the wrong screw in the wrong place. So again, you wanna keep that in mind. I'm gonna to have to get that screw. It flew off my desk. All right, let me pause the video and I'll be back. I'm gonna look for that screw real quick before I accidentally kick it somewhere. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back, got the screw. Anyways, let's pop this cover off. So once you get all the screws out, go from the back here and then you pull it up. There are clips, so you might have to pull a little hard. All right, it's pretty dusty and dirty in here. So we're gonna clean this out. Um, if we're lucky, it might just be this end that came loose. It looks like it might be a little crooked. Anyways, I'm gonna clean this out cause it's really dirty and then I'll be back. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. I'm gonna take the cover off. It's pretty dusty and dirty inside, but let's just get this stuff out of the way. All right, next thing you wanna do, disconnect the battery. If you've seen my battery replacement videos on here, let me zoom in. Oops. Basically, you got this part here that's connected. So you're just gonna pull up on there. I just use my fingernails here. You can see it's separating and it comes out just like that. All right, let's zoom out. Once you do that, you wanna open up the MacBook and then press and hold the power button 10 to 15 seconds to drain any power. This will prevent any damage to the internal components. Hopefully the loose cable didn't cause any damage already. Sometimes it can damage the motherboard's backlight circuit. I didn't see a backlight issue because I didn't see the screen at all. So it's most likely the screen itself is completely not connected. All right, so now we're gonna disconnect the LCD connector. There's some dust still on there. So the way I do that is I get my fingernail underneath the little metal latch here. Let me see if I can zoom in better. Okay, so what I do is I get my fingernail underneath the latch. You can see there's a metal bar there and then I just flip it upwards. Let me see, it's kind of awkward at this angle, but there you go. All right, so here you go. We got that metal latch out. Once you get that out, you use the bottom part of the latch to pull it back, okay, just like this. And we disconnected the cable here. All right, I'm gonna clean this off a little. Make sure that rubber piece stays there. Okay, now we're gonna reconnect it. If we're lucky, sometimes that cable is just slightly loose uh, enough that it doesn't connect the screen. I don't see any burns or anything on the cable, so that's at least somewhat of a good sign. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect this cable. Just slide it in using the latch. Make sure you get it lined up. You shouldn't have to use much force to pull it in. For some reason, it's getting caught. There we go. And let's pull it back. All right, once you pull it in, put that latch back over. There's still some dust and stuff in there. Okay, and then let's try and power it up. Let's push the battery connector back on. Oops, let me zoom out. So push the battery connector back down. All right, let's put the cover back on. Again, we're gonna do a SMC and P RAM reset if it works. All right, so zoom out again. 
we're lucky it's going to work. If not, we're going to try getting the connector on the back end here. All right, power button. I'm holding the option key so it doesn't um, risk damaging anything. And I see light, so we're good. Um, I do have other videos where you have to remove the whole screen. This cover, you can slide it off. And if that's the case, um, after you slide this cover off, there's the other end of the cable under here. I think I've shown it on some videos before. Um, it's a pain to remove this bracket. Um, but I've seen a lot of screens where they're completely black and it ends up being the cable connection under here. There's a cable just like the latch one there. And then there's another where it's like a push cable and sometimes that pops off. So that's all there is to this one. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys. I'm going to put the screws back now. Um, again, you want to do a PRAM and SMC reset, so option control shift on the left and then the power button, you can see it turns itself off. If you have it plugged in, the charger, if it's orange, it'll go to green, then back to orange. That's another way to know you did the SMC reset right. Um, if it doesn't work, then it might be some of your keys here are damaged. All right, anyways, now we're going to do a PRAM reset, so power it on. Command option P and R, hold those keys while it's starting up. You'll hear the chime. It'll reset. Okay, you'll hear the chime again, and there we go. So the computer's booting up, it looks okay. I'm gonna move this out of frame because I don't wanna show the customer's username and stuff. Okay, so we'll let this finish up. There we go, all right, it's booted up. Um, the screen is a little bit flickery, um, so I don't know if I should check this other connection as well. I'll let my customer decide. Right now it looks okay because if I do have to check the other side, it's gonna cost a lot more. So we'll let them decide. And then I don't know if they've been having this flickering issue before. Uh, let's see if you can actually see it in the screen or not. I can see it, but I don't know if it's visible in camera. Not at this angle, I don't really see it. So I don't know. So it could be because they dropped it that it's having some issues, but uh, I definitely see the screen kind of flickering a bit. Anyways, let's shut it down and then put the screws back in. Let me double check because I'm gonna have to replace the speakers as well. I don't know if it's just the left speaker or the right speaker. Let me see if I can rule that out just by disconnecting the left speaker here. I'm gonna disconnect the speaker. If you're not sure how to, if you wanted to know how to disconnect the speaker, I have videos showing that, but I'm just gonna do this real quick just to test it. Okay, holding the option key. Okay, so definitely the right speaker is bad. I'm gonna now put the other one back and see if it's both or if it's just that speaker. All right, so we'll put this speaker back. I'm gonna actually leave that speaker in just cause it's more work to remove. And then I'm gonna just listen closely to the other speaker and see. Both speakers are bad. <laughs> Okay, so definitely need to replace both speakers. I'm gonna shut this down. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on. If this video helped you guys, remember, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. All right, um, if it saved you a lot of money, please consider um, donating to the channel so I can continue doing these for a living. It also gives me motivation to keep doing these. Um, these kinds of screens, again, if you had to replace the whole screen and lots of, and, um, my customer actually brought it to Apple and to some other places and they quoted him saying that they'd have to replace the screen most likely. And that would be several hundred dollars. So if I saved you several hundred dollars, I mean, please try and help me out. I mean, even a dollar is greatly appreciated if you can't afford that, even like 25 cents. Any, anything helps and it keeps me, me motivated. It shows me that you guys appreciate what I'm doing. So, yep, all right, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I put the rest of the screws back. All right. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Let's drop this.